In the second half of 2017, Estonia held the presidency of the Council of the European Union for the first time. Looking back, we want to highlight the progress in our four priority areas. An open and innovative European economy. We reached an agreement to extend the European Investment Plan until 2020, which stimulates the European economy and aims to mobilize 500 billion euros in total. The fund has already helped many companies in Europe expand their business activities. Thanks to an agreement made on the e-commerce VAT package, the more transparent tax policy makes it considerably easier to operate within the single market. Businesses that conduct cross-border sales of goods can now pay VAT in their home country. Finance ministers established a common position on updating international tax rules considering the future of the digital economy. The decision means that online businesses should pay income tax in all countries in which they make a profit, regardless of their physical location. A safe and secure Europe. A new era in European defence is marked by the joint launch of the Permanent Structured Cooperation. For the first time, the EU set the goal of boosting the military capabilities of member states and increasing defence spending. Following Estonia's suggestion, facilitating military transport was added to the list of joint projects, which serves the interests of the EU and NATO. To better enjoy a borderless Europe, the Estonian presidency concentrated on the defence of external borders, supported by data exchange. For example, the year 2020 will see the launch of a system that provides an overview of all third country nationals that enter and exit the EU. We also got closer to the creation of an information and authorization system that ensures border security and speeds up visa-free border crossing for citizens. Strong partners ensure a strong Europe. In late November, EU leaders and representatives of Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Moldova, Ukraine and Belarus signed a declaration setting out shared goals until 2020. Specific projects in the fields of economy, connections, education and digital services will improve the lives of millions of people and stabilize our neighborhood. A digital Europe and the free movement of data. The free movement of data has been a priority for the Estonian presidency, which is why it has been included in all discussions. In Europe, we agreed that this crucial issue is key to abolishing barriers to the free movement of data between member states. At the Tallinn Digital Summit, EU leaders agreed that Europe must pay greater attention to the development of groundbreaking technology. To ensure the evolution of a digital Europe, the leaders of the EU agreed on future actions for the development of the 5G network to bolster cybersecurity, introduce cross-border e-government services and simplify e-commerce. One of the lasting achievements of the Estonian Presidency will certainly be the first ever electronic signing of an EU legislative act, which hopefully all Europeans will soon use. An inclusive and sustainable Europe. We updated the social security coordination system that covers all workers, students and pensioners traveling between EU countries. Transferring family and long-term care benefits to another country has become clearer and more transparent. The digital data exchange between countries will soon make procedures much more efficient for EU citizens and also help make fraud and error detection related to benefits easier. The European Union took a big step towards fulfilling the promises in the Paris Agreement on climate change. Above all, the industrial and transport sectors have to reduce their energy consumption. Also, the EU made progress in creating a consumer-friendly and smart European electricity market. Together, we want to increase the use of different digital solutions, such as smart electricity meters and connections, and data exchange platforms. These would allow consumers to participate actively in the electricity market by adjusting their energy consumption according to the price signals or by selling electricity that they have produced on their own. Read more about the outcomes of the Estonian Presidency on our website eu2017.ee. Till next time!